Hi guys, this is Dee Charnett and welcome to the YC Weekly. With the new year having just started, a lot of people have taken to saying the phrase, new year, new me. But while this phrase sounds optimistic and hopeful, it's not really all that amazing when you really think about it. People usually say this when they're talking about whatever resolutions they've made for the coming year. Whether it involves living healthier, acting nicer, or giving more to the less fortunate. Let's face it though, how much do we really commit to this? It's already the end of January, and I'm sure plenty of people have already canceled their gym memberships, gotten tired of acting nice to their crabby in-laws, and can't give anything else away because they aren't doing too well themselves. And let's not get into those resolutions that are obviously undoable. It's amazing how many people wish for something that they can't accomplish. So, what do you want to do this new year? I want everyone to achieve world peace. Okay, how do you plan on going about that? Um, by sending everyone my good thoughts and prayers. Another idea behind the new year, new me saying is the idea of a fresh start. No matter what you did last year, this year is a clean slate for everyone. Hey. New year, new me. Yeah, right. Seriously? While the idea of a fresh start is nice, most people use this to excuse anything bad they did last year. I feel the people who use this statement the most have the most to hide. Man, last year really sucked. Yeah, it wasn't great. So many people died, and America is so divided. Yeah. I got like, I got a bunch of tickets. I got like, I went to jail like twice. Nearly almost got a baby killed. But hey, this year's gonna be great. I just know it. It's not, it's not like they have any evidence to press charges. Just because the year resets doesn't mean we do. Everything we did last year and any year prior still carries over. A brand new you, while a nice idea, is also an impractical and misguided one. It's hard to start something completely new, but it's easier to improve on something you've already been working on. So maybe work on completing those resolutions you set in 2010, rather than adding even more goals that won't get done. Well guys, this is all for this week. Be sure to like the Youth Channel's Facebook page, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next week, same as always.